let's see this now so now we want to go ahead and understand when does the demand curve shift so basically the demand curve shifts whenever you are changing those other factors like income like you know taste and preferences like price of other goods etc so we want to now analyze when will the demand curve shift this is a general rule see any factor that does not come either on x or y axis so if the factor is neither on the x axis nor on the y axis that factor always leads to shift of the curve whichever curve you talk about micro or macro whichever curve you will talk about if that factor is not on the x or y axis it will lead to a shift of the curve what do i mean by that i mean that when i plotted this demand curve i plotted it between q and p isn't it so any other factor anything other than the price of the commodity like for example income of the of the individual taste and preferences price of other commodities etc any other factor which is neither on the x or the y axis will always lead to shift of the curve any factor which is on the x or the y axis will always lead to movement along the curve so you know for example if you are at point a and price of the product decreases you will move along the curve from a to b because now price has reduced so you will demand more right so any factor which is on the x or y axis always leads to movement along the curve but any factor which is neither on the x nor on the y axis leads to a shift of the curve so the demand curve shows how prices affect quantity demanded other things being equal these very other things that are non price things they are going to basically shift the demand curve when you change those things the demand curve shifts let's take the first example the number of buyers see when there is going to be increase in the number of buyers automatically the total demand in the market will increase so the market demand curve will shift to the right isn't it at the same price you will demand more so take an example here for example here if i add another individual say let's add harry and he demands one unit here you know sorry four units here three units here two units here one unit here zero 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 when you add this together instead of 24 this will become 28 this will become 24 this will become 20 16 12 96 so now instead of you having this uh, you know this point here at 24 you will have this point at 28 so it will shift you know 28 will be somewhere here instead of you having this point at 21 you will have this point at 24 so you know your curve will be shifting it will shift to the right right so basically when the market demand is you know when the number of buyers will increase there is one more person who is going to demand your product if one more individual is going to demand your product the demand is going to increase the demand curve will shift to the right so it's like this suppose the number of buyers increase at each price quantity demanded will increase so the demand curve will shift to the right let's go ahead and talk about the second factor which is known as income of the consumer usually we believe that when income increases the demand increases this is absolutely true 
right? If your income is increasing, you will demand more. But in economics, we divide the type of goods in two types. One is known as a normal good and one is known as an inferior good. A normal good is defined as the good which is positively related to income. So usually when your income will increase, then your, you know, demand will increase. This is a normal good. I'm representing income by M. So for example, let's take anything. Maybe the demand of chocolates. Maybe the demand of the food I eat in cafes. Maybe the demand of books I read. When my income increases, I demand more of those commodities. So they are normal good for me. Because even at the same price, you are going to increase the demand. So even when the price is same, if earlier you were demanding this much, now you will demand more because your income has increased. Even when price was this much, if earlier you were demanding this, now you will demand more because your price has increased. So the demand curve overall will shift to the right. At any price, whatever your earlier demand was, you will demand more. If at this price you were earlier demanding this much, you will demand more. So at any price, in an increase in income is going to cause an increase in the demand of the product if it is a normal good. But let's talk about inferior goods now. So let's say that there is some cable that I may consider as an inferior good. And let's say that I may think Netflix as a normal good. Now, what I do is when my income increases, I decrease the demand of cable and I shift to a better product like Netflix. Right? So because with an increase in my income, I actually went ahead and I decreased the demand of cable, it becomes an inferior good for me. So demand for inferior good is negatively related to income. Increase in income will shift the demand curve to the left. You will reduce your demand when your income will increase. So in this case, what will happen? If good X, is an inferior good and there is increase in your income level and this is your earlier demand curve then when income increases your demand will decrease and you will shift leftward if that good is an inferior good Increase in income will decrease the demand and you will demand less of the commodity. Here I want to spend a moment on difference between demand versus quantity demanded. See, demand is due to factors other than price. Like income, price of own good. Like income, taste and preferences, number of buyers, market condition, etc. Quantity demand is, is always due to own price. Due to product's own price. Quantity demanded, if this changes, it always leads to movement along the demand curve. If demand changes, it always leads to shift of the demand. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next 